If you're in a Zoom meeting and the link is not that good, maybe the video is a bit blurry or the audio is not that clear. Yeah, if the audio is not so clear, then maybe you want to give Zoom some feedback, some strong feedback. Here's how to do it. When you end the meeting, you click on end. You can just end it on the meeting host or I could just leave the meeting if I'm not the host. But then I've got this option to give feedback. So you click on that. And then when you end, you get to say what was your experience. The video was a bit choppy. Now, if you want to give permission for Zoom to contact you, then you can click on this box here and then pop in your email address and hit submit. Or you can just do it just as is and click submit. And you can do that for all guests so that they all get the option of giving feedback. You sign into Zoom, go to my account. And profile, we want to go to settings. And then scroll right down and you want to enable feedback to Zoom or check that that's enabled. And you can display that end of meeting experience of feedback survey. How was Zoom with a thumbs up, thumbs down. Now you can turn those off. You can just undo this one. And you can undo this one. Okay. So display end of meeting experience feedback survey. We're going to disable it. Of course, you can enable it again. Click enable. And if you do want it turned on, you can give people an option, just a thumbs up or thumbs down survey at the end of each meeting, or, or actually even just do it randomly for some meetings. Now this feedback is not about the quality of the meeting itself or how good the participants were, or how smart they were. It's about the actual Zoom application and how fast or slow it was and just how clear it was, the video and the audio.